Mark Watts, Chuck Kimmerlein, EliteFTS.com. We're here at the S4 Compound. We're going to go over today two mechanical drop sets for the bench press. Now, these are going to be good, obviously, for hypertrophy type work, not going to be any max effort work, but if you're in a team environment and a lot of times you struggle with uh, athletes and getting some extra hypertrophy work uh, with different presses, this is one of those things they can do. A um, couple things this, these are, both of these are, are beneficial for. Number one, there's not a lot of movement. Once you got an athlete on the bench, they can do a, the drop set and then they can do probably one, maybe two sets and they're done for the day. Uh, secondly, because of the way that we're going to set these up, not a lot of changing in weights either and there's going to not be a lot of discrepancy between athletes as well too because you have some some things built in that you can adjust so what we're going to do is basically one two three four and you can even say a five board press now these are this is not new we didn't invent these but this is a couple of things that we do uh, to help and give you a little bit of variety to adjust these to your athletes so all right so chess is going to go ahead and lay down and we're going to go through now as far as bench press technique we did a video on uh, board pressing for athletes and how it's just a little bit different than you're working for powerlifting or working a shirt. Um, we'll put the link to that right here. Josh will put it like right here, so we'll have a link to that. So, all right, so we're going to go ahead and we'll start with the one board. Now, based on how you want to coach, Chuck, when you're ready, uh, Chuck's just using 135. Obviously, with his strength, we'd, we'd adjust that. But for the most part, we're just going to do a board press. If you want your athletes to go ahead and pause each time, they can and come up. But what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, go ahead, just do, do a couple more reps. And he's going to go ahead and do his anywhere between whatever you prescribe. So go ahead, rack it up. Give the athlete some rest. Now here's the most important thing. If you have the athlete do as many as they possibly can on the first set, what happens is you have a set of 14, then about 3, then 2, then 1, then 1. So sometimes what you can do is you can cap that first set. So hey, we're going to do 5, or we're going to do 8, we're going to do 10. And then we'll rack the weight. And when you're prescribing reps, instead of saying as many reps as possible for each, for each board, you can just tell them to make sure that they're going to cap at 10. And then you can have that last set as a burnout set. So go ahead, just do a couple more. Right. And again, same thing. If you want the athletes to tap, that's fine. If you want the athletes to have a longer pause, that's okay too. But what we're doing is we're working up. Now we're on a three board. I just fell on my foot. Now we're working on a three board, right? And again, as the athlete gets more fatigued, we're working up to a less range of motion, okay? Now, basically, with your athletes, if you have a difference in arm length, you might have some athletes only go with, only go with, we don't have four board, let's go two twos. So you can have the athlete with the longer arms, maybe they go up to a five, maybe they don't. But again, as the athlete gets more fatigued, they're going to have less range of emotion. So they're going to go ahead and work their way up. You can do uh, with that as far as progressing, you can add weight for the set. If you have a, a rep cap where they're going to stop at a certain, uh, certain total amount of reps, and you can basically um, work your way up with that, with the, uh, with the amount of weight that's being used and the amount of reps as well. So again, that's really easy. If you have a lot of athletes, obviously you're going to have a, a set, set of at least three to four athletes that may have a spotter and someone watching a board. But again, starting with one, working your way up to four or five, depending on the athlete. Really good way to get some hypertrophy work with uh, a minimal amount of time and not a lot of logistics concerns because again the athletes in one place with one set of reps not changing any weights for that set so give that a shot <laughs> 